people who want to be saved when it's too late. They had ample provisions. They had way too many options. They had way too many um, requests, way too many recommendations, way too many uh, um, chances. But it's when it's too late, then because they don't want to face the consequences, then the so-called want to be changed and saved, but it will be too late for them. Guys, welcome back to this channel. Welcome back to this video that we are making on the story of Noah. Now we are looking at chapter 8 of the story of Noah. But before I remember, I forget. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. And of course, ring the bell. And uh, if you are a new subscriber, uh, you can put it on the chat and that says new subscriber. Now, with that being said, let's get active. Chapter 8. Now we begin with now we begin with the mountains of a place called Ararat. Ararat. And God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that, and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth, and the water assuaged, assuaged. The fountains also of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters returned from off the earth continually, and after the end of the 150 days the waters were abated. And the ark rested in the seventh month, of the seventeenth day of the month upon the mountains of Ararat, and the waters decreased continually until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, were the tops of the mountains seen. Man. So. Whew, that was a lot of month. To remember. So, um, here's the thing about that. I think, now I don't know exactly what calendar um, they used to use for the, when talking about the month, um, but I know it was not the calendar it was not the calendar that we use so right now let's see if we were to guess based oh, if we were to guess based on our calendar um if we were to guess based on our calendar what the month would have been it says the arc rested on the seventh month which would be now July or July on the 17th day of the month that would be July 17 but I'm pretty sure um, but rest assured that would not be the same month it would not be July 17 but let's con let's see actually what else we can learn what well, that is if we were to look at it as our month right now and the water decreased continually until the 10th month. So that will be October. Uh, and the 10th month of the first day. So October 1st. That's when the mountains were first seen. So basically, uh, from July 17th to October 1st, the waters 
would have decreased by at least I would say about 22 inches uh, 22 feet because remember last time we saw that the waters um, covered the highest mountains by uh, 15 cubits which is 22 feet right yeah so that means in what august september october almost three months the water decreased by 22 feet about pretty interesting now what does the what does ararat because we have to understand ararat means something see why would the why would the 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 boat or the ark rest upon the mountains of Ararat. So Ararat is not the mountain. Ararat is an area in the mountain that has mountains. Actually, he said he didn't say mountain. He said mountains. So that means there are more than one mountain mountain in that area. Now, what would what would Ararat mean? Ararat means that if we were to go back, let's say we were into the virtual reality and we put our goggles in and we go back to the time of Noah and we are standing upon the mountains of Ararat. What that would mean is we would realize that people made a choice. They chose not to be saved, but they chose to keep sin. Remember last time I said that God is not interested in destroying people. He is interested in destroying sin. But because people don't want to let go of sin, they want to hold on to sin. When God destroys sin, then they get destroyed as well. So God is not interested in destroying people. But what does not Arab tell us is that People were too much in love with, with sin. They did not like the way that God, wo- God was trying to save them, which is um, the boat. But I can guarantee you, the moment it started raining, that's when they wanted to get into the boat. But at that moment, it was too late. because, And that's what's going to happen at the end of time too. People will want to be saved when it's too late. They had ample provisions. They had way too many options. They had way too many um, requests. Way too many recommendations. Way too many uh, um, chances. But it's when it's too late, then because they don't want to face the consequences, then the so-called want to be changed and saved but it will be too late for them so this is what Mount Ararat represents now now I'm hoping I know some people will be on the comment and never ever actually considered their Mount Ararat their Mount Ararat experience they will they will be the same way they will hold on to sin Actually, they will be the one commenting uh, that I'm a fool, I'm an idiot, I'm a, maybe a dumb person. They'll be the same ones. But what they forget is that one day they will have to face Mount Ararat. They will have to face their Mount Ararat experience. Will they choose to be changed or to hold on to sin? That's going to be on them. So... Mount Ararat is here for us guys to remember that we have um, we have a duty to understand what the past is you know? so what the past brings to us and what we can learn from it and then do our best to be changed So that we can do better in the future. Now, 
I'm not gonna make that one long because there it's not needed to be long. So don't forget guys, your mouth everyone has to go through their mouth aromat experience and by doing that you will be able to see where your deficiency is, where your strength is, and then work on your deficiency and ask God to help you to become ask God to help you to become better in that area, meaning to um, either to lead to give it up so you can be good in every point of your life. So this was T O V. Don't forget T O V. Of course, remember to like and of course to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell as well. So, and of course, if you are a new subscriber, you can comment new subscriber on the chat below. Guys, I'm going to stop right here. I hope to see you guys again. Until then. Bye for now.